Okay, I'm going to uh, expand on the concept of resonance in, in tubes open uh, at both at, uh, at, on both sides, closed uh, on one side. This one even has an example, uh, both sides closed. Uh, I, I had developed a little Mathematica uh, script to, to show you the, the wave functions, uh, uh, the standing waves in uh, pipe organs is what I was calling them. In Walter Fent, I should have looked on Walter Fent's site. He has a better presentation, and that's why I'm uh, uh, presenting it here. I think he has uh, a better presentation. He even has the uh, take the length of the tube, and you know he gives you the wavelength and the frequency. Uh, notice the length of the tube is one meter, and the wavelength is two meters. Why? Because this is only a half wave. This is a half wave here. And so the the tube is one meter, but the wavelength is, I mean, I'm sorry, the tube is one meter, but the the wavelength is two meters. And if you calculate it, uh, the, I calculated it, he's using a, a um, he's a, uh, using a sound, uh, uh, sound velocity of 344 meters per second, which is about 20 degrees C. Uh, so, so he's using room temperature uh, velocity for the, the speed of sound in air. And we can see, so if you have a tube, like an uh, organ that's open at both ends, this is the type of resonance uh, you will get for the fundamental. Now, um, you can see it says here, vibrational mode is the fundamental. Um, now, he, he calls the, what we call the second harmonic, he calls it the first overtone. Um, but it, to, to us, as we studied it, it's the second harmonic. And you can go high, and, and now you'll see that this is a full wave from the uh, a peak on this side to a trough back to a peak. That's a full wave. Um, so um, you can see here the length of the tube is one meter. Now the wavelength at the first overtone or the second harmonic as we call it is is one wavelength um let's go higher um now the the, the wavelength of of this one is is uh, 0.667 because you have uh from from peak to trough to peak to trough so that's one and a half wavelengths um and the frequency for the this second overtone what we call the third harmonic is 515. And you can keep going higher and higher and higher. Now, let's switch to one side open. Um, and he even has a nice little animation here where he shows the compression and rarefaction of the uh, of the, uh, the the wave. Now, what do we have here? You remember, it, here where it's closed, the molecules can't move, so you get a node. Um, and so it's only from one, one node to an antinode. That's a quarter wavelength. So you'll see here, the length of the tube is one meter, but the wavelength is four, four meters because it's only a quarter of a, quarter of a wave. And if we go higher uh, to the first overtone, uh, you can see it's, it's one, it, it's three quarters of a wavelength. Um, and go higher. Now it's five quarters. Uh, you know, one, two, three. Uh, let me see. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Five quarters. We go higher. It'll be seven quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven quarters. And th that's the way the these um, uh, these waveforms. Um, that's how they uh, they set up in in resonances, um, and I think uh, we could do both sides closed. That's kind of a uh, how are you going to get you know uh, a, a stimulus in there to, to to create the sound? Well, I don't know. He didn't go into that, but uh, uh, I just wanted to show you this. I think this is a better presentation than the Mathematica. Uh, script that I wrote, um, and, and uh, that's all I wanted to show you for this, this is a, a little short uh, video. We'll end it here.